Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're going to continue our discussion on writing your own workouts. I'm going to talk about the pieces of the workout. And first up is volume. So I'm trying to introduce you to some of the jargon that we use, which makes it easier for us to communicate the ideas uh, that we are trying to convey during our programs. First up is volume. That basically means how many reps am I doing? So the easiest way to control volume is to do more sets because if I, you know, if I want to do a set of six because I'm looking for some like strength hypertrophy kind of gains, um, then the easiest way to increase volume is like I can increase volume by one rep by squeezing out an extra rep. And that rep is very important if I do do that. It's not that this is unimportant, but if the goal is more volume, I'm probably going to put another set on because that'll give me a whole six more reps instead of just one more rep. Um, now, I can tinker around with this. Uh, the, the thing that I would say is volume is probably the thing that fatigues people the most. So if I'm training over a long period of time and I'm not really sleeping very well or eating very well, I tend to get really worn down if I have a lot of training volume. It's hard to recover because then I'm always in this fatigued state. So I may want to actually dial the training volume back a little bit. An example, so if somebody comes in to me and they just look like crap, they say, man, I got insomnia, I slept two hours last night, I have a project due at four o'clock and I have to go back to work after this, um, then I just say, you know, Let's have your volume and let's just get through the workout, right? It's not about setting PRs. It's about just kind of stimulating the body so that it knows that it can still move around, but not accumulating more fatigue, right? Just reminding it that it, it is a fit uh, organism but not throwing more fatigue on that you're then going to have to recover from. Because at that point, that person's recovery ability is limited. So volume, basically the sets and the reps that you do. Now, higher volume workouts are generally going to be more cardiovascular. Uh, if I'm doing a strength workout, maybe let's say I'm doing eight sets of three, that's 24 reps. I can do two sets of 12 for 24 reps. So from a general volume standpoint, if I'm only tracking volume, it's not really telling me what kinds of adaptations that I'm getting. And that's what we're going to talk about next time.